All right, today on the chopping block, we have our modified Xbox, we have our XBMC for gamers, we have our ROMs. Let's talk about N64. To launch the ROMs, you just press A. You're gonna go and launch into the system. It's gonna take a few seconds to boot. Hello, how are you doing? We are recording from my TV as always. The N64 has a pretty large library, so it takes a few seconds to boot up. Once it boots up, you'll see your game list here, and it actually pulls its own artwork according to the game file. So it's kind of like, it's not, the best looking thing in the world. Obviously, you don't have the N64, we're playing on Xbox. But all my games, pretty much, I have set up to load over here off the ROM directory. You can always select your ROM directory, it's in the ROM file. But if you see unknown, these are just, you know, they have the game files. Those are the BIOS files you can kind of see by the name. So let's say you want to play, I don't know, let's, like, let's find a game that people like. Cruising USA runs really bad, just FYI. It's kind of a laggy game. Some of the games are more laggier than, than most. Um, and like I said, not every game has its, its, uh, basic artwork, but most of the games do. So let's go launch a game. I'm going to talk real quick about, let's say F zero X. So to launch the game, you just press a, and this is where it gets very confusing. So when you launch it, you have a choice of emulators. These are the different emulators with the rice core. Uh, I recommend, I don't recommend the ultra HE. It doesn't seem to run very well. The 16 and the 14 tend to be the best ones. Uh, we'll go ahead and launch the 16 here and see how well this runs. These are the different versions of Rice. Uh, if you want to run an older version, you can. Some versions work better than others. I recommend uh, the top, the, these, the newer ones usually have more bug fixes, but they're not always the best. So what this is going to do is then inject into the emulator and load it up. It takes a few seconds. As you said, we're playing off an Xbox. So you're going to wait for it to load. It's going to refresh the audio and load. And if your game's ever laggy or not working well, I'd recommend going back and changing the emulator. Like I said, not every emulator is the best. This game I think is going to run just fine. It will be good to go. Let's go and press start and play it. One second. So I'm not going to lie, that emulator actually crashed. So let's go ahead and try the 11 one. Hit X. And let's go ahead and try it. I actually do a, a version behind of the Rice, Rice 11. Because sometimes Rice 12 gives issues. Like I said, this is kind of a, a pick and choose. You're going to find an emulator that works good with other games and some don't. So this seems to work a lot better. And it's not crashing, so... So there you go. So the other emulator was not the one to pick. This is working just fine. So when you're going through N64, I, I like I said, you really have to kind of play with it. You got to kind of pick an emulator that works, and if it crashes or doesn't run well, pick a different one. You have a few choices. It's just kind of how it is. They all kind of run a little bit different with different games. So, but as you see, it does play totally fine on the OG Xbox. So if you have questions about the N64, is kind of pick and choose and hope for the best. I'm gonna go play now.